Hi Wise families, it's Kate. What a beautiful day to do this project. Shadow drawings. If you're doing this on a cloudy day or indoors, you can use a lamp, flashlight, or other light source to create the shadows. But today I was so lucky to have this gorgeous sunshine. First, we're gonna gather some items that have interesting shapes and place them so that they make a shadow on a piece of paper. Then we're going to trace that shape with a pencil or marker. Some things I chose today are these ampersands, and this ampersand. My cat kitchen timer. My toothbrush. This copper tray my friend made. This unicorn pencil holder, which is doing double duty today. Scissors. I love scissors, but if you're planning on using scissors yourself, make sure they're safety scissors or that you have a parent's help because they can be sharp. This tiny chicken. My snail tape dispenser, which is also doing double duty today. You will also need paper. I chose plain white copy paper, but you can choose any color you like. Light colors work best so that you can see the shadow. Since I'm working outside on my front walk, I brought out a cardboard box to tape my paper to so that I have a smooth surface to draw on. Once your work area is set up, place your items however you like, on or near your paper, and begin tracing the shadow. And you're going to need something to draw with. I use this pencil from my unicorn pencil holder. Try putting more than one shape close to each other to make a scene or a collage. Try things that are the same shape, but different from each other, like this flat sheet of cutout ampersands and this 3D ampersand. Try moving your object around to see how many different shapes you can make. Try using familiar shapes and maybe unfamiliar shapes or something a little unusual. See if your family can guess what you drew. Whatever you do, be sure to have fun and get creative. I stopped after I drew the shadow pictures, but I encourage you to go a little bit further. Add some details, color things in. How could you add detail to that tape dispenser to make it look like something completely different? What about this one? Can you change the toothbrush head, the scissors, and the two different chickens into something completely different? Okay, now it's your turn. Go make shadow art. Try using the sunshine at different times of day. Try using a lamp from different angles. See how that changes your shadows. And see if the shadows look like anything different. Have fun with this. And think about what you can learn about your favorite things and about the world around you. Go in peace. I'll see you all soon. Bye.